Well, hello there. Today we're going to learn how to use Buffer to schedule our content in advance. Now, I know I recorded this video a long time ago and I thought it was time for an update. Buffer has changed a lot since then and if you haven't watched that video, no worries. I'm gonna cover everything in this tutorial. Now here we are inside of Buffer and Buffer is a scheduling tool uh, for social media. So you can connect a lot of different social networks by clicking right here, connect more, and you'll see there's Twitter, you can connect your Facebook profile, which is your personal profile, you can also connect a business page or you can connect a group, which is definitely helpful if you are trying to manage you know, Facebook. You can also connect a LinkedIn profile or a LinkedIn page. You can connect a Google page or, which is, this is the most recent one and I'm really excited about it, you can also connect to Pinterest. Now, for the purpose of this tutorial, I already have my Twitter account set up and I have my Pinterest account set up, but I'm gonna show you how to connect your Facebook page. So you simply uh, press one of these buttons and Buffer is gonna redirect you over to Facebook. You're gonna click OK and accept you know, their terms. And basically, you're going to um, now select which pages you want to connect to your Buffer account. Now, I'm gonna connect to my own and um, click down here, connect these pages to Buffer. So really easy and simple. You can do the same exact uh, step for any of the social networks that you want to connect. So here we are in the uh, message box and basically you can select, you know, how many social network networks you want to send this particular message that you're about to compose, how many of those social networks you want to send that message over to. So let's say that I am going to type in an update and, you know, just, I'm just going to do it for the purpose of this video, just something random like, um, I love Buffer, right? And let's say you want that message to go out um, to Facebook and Twitter, but not Pinterest, then you can simply select those two and click add to queue, or you can schedule the post for a specific time and date. Now, very important, if you are going to add a Pinterest um, post, you have to select a board, it's gonna pull up your boards, and you have to enter a source URL as well as an image. So you do have to attach an image if you're going to be pinning it because of course Pinterest is all about images. They don't accept just text, um, text formats. So that's something good to know. And you can you know, uncheck these if you don't want to send them to um, specific networks. Now, a really cool thing that I love about Buffer is the fact that, and they actually just released this, it's um, Pablo. And Pablo helps you create images within Buffer. So we're going to click over to, I don't know if you saw that, but I clicked on create an image. And that's going to bring up Pablo 2.0. And basically, you can you know, watch the video about how Pablo works, etc., etc. But just to give you an idea of what it is, it's just a little uh, image creator and you get to pick specific backgrounds here. It's all free or you get to upload your own image and then you can you know, create your quotes or a text overlay. There's not a lot of customization, so I, I do still prefer Canva over Pablo, but if you, uh, you know, don't have a lot of time and you're doing something uh, very simple and quick, you can absolutely use Pablo. So once you have your image ready here, you've edited the text and um, you know, you've played with the different effects, then you can select what size. So if it's going to be a tall image for Pinterest, for example, if it's gonna be a square image for uh, maybe Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram, actually not Twitter, just Facebook and Instagram, or if it's gonna be wider, you know, for Twitter um, and Facebook, this, this one's ideal for both, um, then you select that size and you just click share your image or you can download it as well. So I'm gonna click share my image and send it to Twitter. And it's going to load, so just bear with me for a second. Great, so there it is, it's popped up. Um, it's actually pulling in the quote as well, which is kind of cool, and I can just select to add it to my queue or schedule it specifically um, for a date and time. Now, I'm sure you're wondering what the queue means, and I'm going to show you how that works. 
Basically, instead of having to schedule um, each post manually with a time and date, you can set up a schedule for each of your networks in advance. So let's say that I want to set my schedule for Facebook. I want to say that, okay, I want to post to Facebook every day except for Saturdays at 8.30 in the morning and 6 p.m. You get to add posting times and change those around however you want. So those are my posting times. And um, I want to make sure that that's set up. Now, what you can do is simply go to your content box again. And for Facebook, if I just hit, let me uncheck this. Here we go. Let's type that in one more time. I love Buffer. Okay, so I'm gonna unselect Twitter and I'm gonna say add to queue. That message is going to be queued into my schedule. See, it says 2.30 p.m. in accordance to the schedule that I've set up for this specific date and that specific time. So it's just a quicker, faster way to load up your social media messages without having to select a time and date for each one. Now you can always switch back to custom time and you get to move your post up and down the queue. Um, as well as select whether or not you want to you know, delete it completely. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that before it gets published. But I do wanna show you my Twitter queue so you can get a better idea of how that works. And basically it's just going to be something like this. It's just a, a little queue and you can drag the order, you know, if you want to switch this over. Um, sorry, my bad, okay, here's the thing. If there's specific dates um, then it's not going to be in the queue. You can have a mix of the queue posts and then posts that are also um, scheduled for a specific date. So you can switch the queued post. So you see how I did that one? I can switch that one between this one. So I can move those around, but I can't move the ones that are set to be published at a specific time. And that should make sense. So very easy and simple. That's just how that one works. And you can move across all of your social platforms to see your cues. I don't have anything scheduled for Pinterest right now. But it's kind of neat. It's really cool. And it helps you organize everything. Now, another cool little tidbit is contributions. Um, and that's actually just a... Uh, feature that's available for Buffer for Business, but basically it's just going to let you um, collaborate with other team members. In this specific plan that I am on, it's an uh, the awesome plan, it's $10 a month, and basically I can add one other user, so that's kind of neat, but if you need more people, then you can try Buffer for Business. You can also have feeds inside that help you kind of add more content to your queue and so you can easily you know select which um, which feeds you want to have this is just you know my own blog and it's really easy to to kind of set that up so it's sort of like an RSS feed where all of the content just is fed through buffer and all I have to do is add this message and click add to queue and boom I have you know, a new message and it's so easy to do. It's really simple and I think it's super convenient. Now to add or remove a feed, you can simply look for the RSS feed of a blog that you enjoy, your own blog, or you know, you can even use buffers if you're into social media, but basically you want to look for other blogs um, and other media sources that are sharing content your audience will enjoy and that's a great way to, you know, kind of curate content. So this is really neat. The other thing that I want you to notice is analytics, which is really cool. It'll tell me, you know, which are my most popular posts and you can organize them by the posts that got the most retweets, the most likes, the most replies, the most clicks, the most reach. You can see, you know, the posts that are least popular um, and then you can see the types of posts as well. So that's really helpful. I absolutely love that specific feature because it really just tells me you know how my tweets are performing and um, what's most popular on Twitter. You can do the same thing um, for Facebook and for Pinterest which is really neat and I definitely urge you to check that out. Um, you can look at analytics but you would need to upgrade for that specific feature um, so I don't have that set up right now. I, I use a different tool um, but it's, it's neat you know if you, you wanted to connect more accounts or you're using this as an agency, you can absolutely look at you know analytics inside the platform, which is definitely something that's really helpful. 
Now, if you needed to remove an account for some reason, you can simply click on settings, remove the account, MP, M, MP. what is MP? Empty the queue, um, reconnect the account, add a team member, or uh, select a link shortening feature. So that's kind of cool for, for uh, Buffer as well. And their latest feature is, um, well, one of the latest features is their calendar and that's a really really cool little um, feature that they're offering now so if we go back to content here um, and we click on calendar you can see it's still in beta but basically you can see you know the types of posts that are scheduled make sure you have that twitter um, account you know topped per each day so you have Wednesday Thursday Friday you know Saturday and Sunday and then you can expand to show even more times and dates so you can see what type of posts you are publishing and whether you should schedule you know more content during that specific day so this is really neat I absolutely love this calendar I think it's a really good feature and it helps you kind of figure out you know how you're going to be organizing your content and the last feature that I wanted to show you is something I love and use all the time, and it's Buffer's um, Power Scheduler. And so I'm going to show you how to use that real quick. I'm going to go over to my personal blog. So here we are on my blog, and let me mix this out. Okay, perfect. So I have the Buffer extension installed in Chrome. So you're probably going to need Chrome to use this feature, just an FYI. But whenever you're on a blog, it doesn't have to be your own. It can be any blog on the web and you see content that you like, you can hit that button. And basically you can use the single composer, which is just going to schedule this message once, or you can use the power scheduler. And this is dope, you guys. I love the power scheduler. Basically, you get to schedule your content more than once. And this is super important, especially if you're, you know, scheduling your own blog content. You want to share that more than once on social media. So this is a great way to do so. And it just basically tells you, you know, this message, I want to schedule it now. You can save that. And um, basically, let's, let's click save so that it shows up and I can show you how it all works. Okay, let me see if I can add an image real quick. I'm just gonna add something random. Okay, this is grid, and so we're going. Okay, say okay. It's not. I don't know why it's not saving. Let's X this out and try it again. All right, we're gonna have to refresh the page. Sorry guys, buffer can be a little bit tricky sometimes because these features are in beta. But we'll try it again. No problem. All right, so there it is. It's saved beautiful and you get to choose the time so let's say in the next eight hours I want this message to go out again and keep in mind you do want to change the content I'm just showing you um, how to do this quickly for, for the purpose of this tutorial but I do want to encourage you to add photos you know make sure that let's add something here make sure that the copy is different add hashtags optimize your content of course and you can add you know even more times and dates so that you are ensuring that your content is going out multiple times a day even if it's the same link because you do want you know people are not online on twitter as often as they are you know i mean sorry they're not online when you are publishing that content especially on twitter because twitter has a feed that runs really really fast so it's hard for your followers to see your content so you have to post it more than once now for facebook be a little bit you know less aggressive um, so let's say maybe you share your blog post two to three times a week max on Facebook because it does, you know, Facebook does um, recycle their content inside the news feeds. So that's one thing to know. But for other platforms, you know, just use your judgment and um, definitely utilize this tool. It's so amazing. I absolutely love it. Once you have all of your social media posts scheduled here, all you have to do is click add all updates to the queue. I'm not going to do that because it's going to be crazy. It's going to ruin my queue. But basically, you would see all of your posts right over here in the queue so you can see how this is extremely helpful um, in this case it would be a list or a calendar and uh, yeah it's really easy to do one last thing I know I said this was the last feature but I do want to show you one last thing inside of Twitter specifically I love having the buffer tool because I get to really um, engage with people and do it in a way that's meaningful 
and I can you know retweet and schedule my retweets there which is really cool so let's say that I'm going through my feed and I see that I like this specific article I'm gonna heart it but then I'm also going to buffer it and you see how that little button is integrated once I have my buffer button up here in Chrome installed once I have that installed I can easily click on add to buffer and this is just gonna schedule a retweet I can also add a comment which is really nice I can upload a picture if I need to um, but I in this specific you know example I, I would just want to retweet someone's tweet and so I would just add that to my queue and that's just going to show up here I'm gonna refresh my buffer queue to make sure that it's there and there it is. So this is really cool. It's really easy. And again, you know, you can always remove it if you don't like it or add a comment to it on Twitter. So I hope you enjoyed this short tutorial. Um, it was really, really simple and easy to use Buffer uh, to schedule your posts in advance. I strongly recommend this tool and I absolutely love everything they come out with. So check it out. Try it out for your own business and let me know what you think in the comments below. What features do you like the most of Buffer? Do you use Buffer? Do you use it in different ways? So I'd love to hear from you. Leave me a message in the comments below and make sure to subscribe and give this video a thumbs up. And don't forget to go over to my free social media class to learn how to create even more amazing content for your social media pages without losing your sanity. Sign up for my free social media class over at zilchtosocial.com. There's going to be a link in the description box. I'll see you guys soon. Bye. Ready to take your social media marketing from zero to stellar? Zilch the Social is here, and inside the course, I'll teach you how to get more engagement, grow your following, and get more leads. Get started right now with my free social media class over at zilchthesocial.com.